Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $101,434.27. In the past year, I am up $28,057.32. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $11,029.88. Today was a green day for me. I made a lot of money today. During the day, I made $2,563.11. And then after hours, I am up $410.02. So overall, around $3,000 up today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I am selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $95. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $136. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $520. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $728. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $666. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, I am down $642. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, $90. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $144. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $200.78. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $30,553.48. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.49. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $5,200.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $98.01. My average cost, $60. My total return, $11,403. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.50. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,975. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.17. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $70. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $185.52. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,304. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.02. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $264. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $76.93. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, I am down. $243.50.
This is a margin account. My margin total is $115,359.87. My margin used is $103,016.49, which leaves me with $12,343.38 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $48,123.31. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $17.71. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So a huge green day today. I made close to $3,000 around there today overall, which I'm very happy about. Now in the last month, look at this. It's like a roller coaster. You start up here, go up, and then there's a drop, and then it goes up again, and it drops again, now it's up again. It's been so up and down re recently in the past month, so it's been like a roller coaster ride. Now, if this trend continues, I already know what's going to happen next. See, it's going up, right? So that means I should probably expect another drop soon. Um, down, back again, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's what's been happening in the past month. It's just been going up, down, up, down, up, down. Gosh, it's kind of very unstable, I guess. So right now I'm at I'm at 101,000, but like I said, it's been such a roller coaster ride recently that I wouldn't be surprised if this drops down back again to, you know, ninety-six thousand dollars, whatever. It's it's just been that way, you know, going up and down in the past month. Um, but for now, I'm above $100,000 again. Um, we'll see what happens. I'll keep on making more updates. But for now, I haven't changed anything in my portfolio. I don't really actively do anything much in my portfolio. Most of my time is spent just sitting back and waiting. So the thing I'm waiting for next is this one. My Southwest Airlines $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. Now, today is July 2nd, so three more days. Now, something to note here, though, is that their markets will be closed for July 4th or, you know, Independence Day. So that's going to be one less day. And then I think it's closing early on the 3rd. So in terms of when the market will actually be open, there's really not much, much days left between here and the expiration. So we'll see what happens. But after the expiration, then I'll have to decide what to do with the money that's freed up if these shares get called away. Now, right now, it's very close. So I have a strike price of $28. Right now, Southwest Airlines is at $28.17, barely above $28, which is the strike price. Now, if it stays above $28 and, you know, my covered calls expire, then my shares of Southwest Airlines will get called away. They'll be removed from my portfolio. And then some of my buying power will get freed up again. So I'll have more than just 12,000. And then I'll decide what to do with the, the money. So that's what I'm waiting on next. And for now, just sitting back and waiting. Like I said, I don't really don't, I really don't do much actively in my portfolio. Um, I kind of just, have my positions and then most of the time is just spent doing nothing really all right um, i'll keep on making updates to let you guys know what my positions are how my positions are doing in terms of returns um, if i do anything new if i get rid of stuff if i add more stuff i'll let you guys know i'll keep on making more updates all right that's it for this portfolio update thank you so much for watching if you like what you see you want to see more content like this then please like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.